Welcome to a video on total harmonic distortion. In this video we will look at what is total harmonic distortion, how do we calculate total harmonic distortion, do some problems and show you in the simulations what's going on. So, any signal can be broken up into different frequencies of different amplitudes and phases. Okay, so a perfect sinusoid will be one peak on a f of t. Okay, and if you go and have a look at the squared wave, it will be multiple frequencies that's being added together that makes up the squared wave. Okay, this is what Fourier says about signals and frequencies. Okay, so a pure sinusoid will have no distortion. But if you have a sinusoidal wave generator and the output looks like this, you have more of a squared wave. Okay, so total harmonic distortion is to describe how bad a sinusoid is being distorted. Okay, so Using FFT in a simulation program or FFT on oscilloscope, we can determine how bad a signal is distorted. Although it might look like a sinusoid, there is sometimes components that you can't see with the eye. And this affects the purity. Okay. So, for normal sinusoidal waves, in RF mixers, you want your signal to be extremely pure so that you don't have any aliasing or images that that exists um, eating up bandwidth and whatnot. So you want a total harmonic distortion of less than 2%. For any audio, if you're generating sinusoids to use in synthesizers and whatnot, you want your total harmonic distortion to be between 1% and 2%, oh, less is obviously better, but if it goes higher than 2%, the distortion will become audible. You will be able to hear it. Ever um, listen to one of those speakers that you connect with your phone? They have some total harmonic distortion that's audible, and the audio that's coming through it um, Sounds like it's being played in a bathroom. Okay, so that is the total harmonic distortion that's becoming audible. Okay, due to the system being a bit non-linear. You can fix this by just dropping the um the gain on the low side and a bit on the high side. It will take that effect away. But in any case, that is what I mean with distortion becoming audible. Okay, for power systems, when you're driving something with a sinusoid, three to five percent maximum or else you will have to, or you will have losses in your system. Okay, you will have power dissipated um, elsewhere. We don't want it dissipated. Okay, so if you calculate the total harmonic distortion based on a square wave, so you take the fundamental as if you're working with a sinusoid and calculate a square wave, you will get 48% total harmonic distortion. For a symmetrical sawtooth, 12% and... Uh, sorry, for a symmetrical triangle and for a sawtooth, 80%. So here on the side, pure sinusoid is just one frequency. Square wave, you will have the fundamental just like a sinusoid and then added components every um, second harmonic. So basically, if this is 10 kilohertz, this will be 30 kilohertz, 50 kilohertz, 70 kilohertz, and so on. Same for the triangle, the amplitude is just a little bit different. Then, sawtooth, you will have every harmonic and pulse waves. Um, all but the fourth. 
canvas is, is more of a, a gradient going down and these are based off um, sync waves okay so how it works to calculate the total harmonic distortion as a percentage is the RMS voltage of every one of these peaks okay you take the RMS voltage and you square them and you add them together and you take the root all divided by the RMS of the fundamental frequency so the fundamental is the frequency that you do want okay so and you multiply that by 100 and that will give you the THD of a signal okay FFTs in general will either give you out uh, RMS voltage, but it is given to you in decibels or the power. Okay, so you need to convert whatever is given to you back to the RMS voltage. So you will be given the voltage in decibels. And RMS voltage converted to decibels is 20 log of RMS voltage so to get back to the RMS you need to do the anti-log and if you want peak voltages RMS multiplied by the root of 2 will give you the peaks if it's power it is 10 log and not 20 log and you can just sum the powers divided by the fundamentals power and everything is under the root but typically a FFT will be voltages since you are measuring the voltage of a scope and typically the voltage in a simulator okay so before we go to simulation here is a small problem to do the calculation. So there is two signals um, measured, and this is what they look like. So the blue one is very distorted, and the green one is less distorted. Okay, so on the next page, I have the measured values of the fundamentals, and then some harmonics so this is what you will get from the scope or the simulator so what i want you to do is complete the table by calculating the rms voltage for each one of these okay and then calculating the total harmonic distortion for each one of the signals and lastly comment on your findings so pause the video do the calculations and i will come back with a solution in a moment okay right so converting them to rms you take the decibels divide by 20 do the anti-log and you can get the peak voltages out of any of these okay so i basically took everything um, when I recorded this above 40 decibels or minus 40 dBs to decrease the amount of harmonics that we have here okay so you can see that with lower dB harmonics the influence is much less it becomes a third or fourth decimal of the peak voltage that you have okay so if you have these values you plug them into your thd equation and for signal one you should get 6.52 percent so it is a very distorted signal we could see that from from the um from the output but now we know how much, 6.52. This is not even usable for power systems, not good for audio, not even good enough for RF mixing. So very distorted, not usable. It is not even sinusoidal anymore. Okay, we could see that with a clipping on the top and the bottom. The distortion is so low because the 
sides of it is not straight down. So it's not um, completely squared wave yet. Okay, and signal 2 is 0.127, which is a very pure sinusoid. So I'm going to jump over to the simulation to show you some of the measurements and whatnot. So I have my two Winebridge oscillators here back to back. And for a good FFT, you need to run the signal for quite a while. Okay, so make sure you have a lot of data. Let's run this. And if I click one of these, you can see that there is quite a lot of data available. And there is our sinusoid. Okay, let's click both. Um, select this window and say FFT. Click OK, select both signals, and run. OK, so you can see that our one signal has a very large peak, but it has much more harmonics. OK, so most of these here at the tail end is kind of noise. So you make a decision on where to look. OK, so you can draw the line here at minus 40 decibels. So it includes this harmonic, this harmonic, and these, and that I will consider to be noise. Okay, so if we zoom in like this, 10 kilohertz, 20 kilohertz, 70 kilohertz, you can see that these are fundamentals, and these are not even in place. Okay, they are all out of position. So they are noise. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, five harmonics and the fundamental. Okay, in the calculation, I only stopped here with you guys. Okay, so if we click here, you can measure, but it's kind of difficult, so you need to zoom in a little bit if you want these to be quite accurate. And there is our first measurement of 17.14 dBs. Okay, if you look at the green signal in this area, here where the first fundamental should be, there is not much of a signal going on below 40 decibels. Okay, so I looked more to, towards the minus 60 dB. And you can see that there is already a lot of noise included here. So I just took one of these peaks at the fundamental here. So that to make the calculation a bit more interesting. Okay, but for all intents and purposes, the green sinusoid is almost 100% perfect. Okay, so measure the peaks at the fundamentals, decide for yourself what is noise, and you can get a nice total harmonic distortion calculation. Right, but in general, this blue one is actually very, very, very distorted and kind of unacceptable. But yeah, okay, and you can see with the eye that this green one is almost pure. And that is it for total harmonic distortion. Thank you for watching.